back out now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Gone, 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 gone! Gone, 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 gone! Cut. Play action here with Rosen, going for the deep ball. And they went for a big play through the air on second down, couldn't connect, now it's third. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just it's gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be right, giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Geno Atkins. In there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Here's Rosen to throw. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here, as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. week so he's he's been down on the ground a lot partner they said the eye in the sky does not lie and that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week incorporate it into their own defensive scheme and continue to get after this quarterback and now this defense will be searching for sack number five 12 yards on the return that time and the Bengals will take over here first and ten the Bengals getting set to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and count. Looking for green, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Dayon Buchanan. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. So the first interception of his career under center, and you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It has to. And I know he feels like the world is just tumbling down at this moment, but there's got to be some veteran somewhere, some mentor that's going to tell him, hang in there, my man. Plenty more to come. Keep firing. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. 
straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first and ten. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. Touchdown, Cardinals! Christian Kirk, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this Detroit, drive after Detroit. what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Going deep downfield for Ross. It's caught inside the 25. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Watching now, Barney, Barney! On first down, Griffith. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. You got to give some credit. They're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because Detroit! the only recourse Detroit! is when he goes in the air to try and give him some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. Back to the air on second down. Griffith steps away to his left. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Operating from the gun, Griffith. That's going to be caught by Ross for a Bengal touchdown. As his guys are in for six, and the Bengals are in for six. So a tiptoe catch back in the end zone, so tough to do, but he made it look pretty easy. It certainly did, and the back of the end zone is treated the same way as the sideline. You have to get your feet down in bounds for it to count as a catch. How about the backgrounds of some of these guys, though? Did they work out it? Maybe some of them were ballet, some dance, who knows? Yeah, you and I were talking the other day. I remember one of my favorite kid shows growing up. I don't know that I want to name it, but... Guys like Lynn Swan, they used to be on there showing their ballet skill. And you have to remember when they were kids and their parents would tell them to take the ballet classes, you know they were fighting them like crazy. But right now they're saying, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Rosen and the Cardinals take over right, with now, a first and six. 10 lucky at their own 21. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. On first down, it's Rosen. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll hand it off now. Johnson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Leopard! Leopard! 
On second down, Rosen. He's going to air one out. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Detroit! 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 Gone! 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 From the shotgun, it's Rosen. Looks for Nelson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Vontez Perfect. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! On first and ten, Griffith to mix it on the check down. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Give him three on the play, and it'll be a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. To throw on second down, Griffith. Going deep downfield for... That's caught inside the 20. And he gets this down deep inside of Arizona's 15-yard line. A big play there for the Bengals. 46 yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Mixon with a first down carry. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Cincinnati after this. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave him with a third and 11. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And the Bengals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Looking to throw. Griffith buying time to his left. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs. In this case, the feet. Did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and ten. Gone, 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 gone. Check check ah. Now a handoff, Johnson, and he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Big Geno Atkins there to bring him down. 
Well, we know he's an electric runner. Earlier this half, we were wondering, you were wondering how they were going to bottle him up at different levels. That was your suggestion. Some mixed results. Yeah, certainly, because we have seen him bottled up at times. We've seen him play him very well. We've also seen him pop the cork a few times and get out of there. <laughs> right, we have indeed. On second down, here's Rosen. His throw incomplete. Johnson the intended target, and now it's third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well. You know, <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Rosen will throw, and he's got Gresham. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. This quarterback now, 6 of 10 in this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. From the gun, it's Rosen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, Detroit! they've been able to Detroit! get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and Detroit! back working Detroit! in sync, only way to play good defense. Ah! Rosen again on second and ten. In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21, and he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw? And when you can't do that, Oftentimes, interceptions result. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Throwing on first down. Griffith going up top. That's going to be caught by Ross for a Bengal touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Bengals add on to their lead. Bullet good on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Bullock out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. So out now come the Cardinals. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. A three-yard right, loss to start the drive. They'll look to in. make that up and then some on second and 13. Right. Now Rosen to throw on second down. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. So we've reached halftime here in the Queen City, and it's the Bengals leading this one. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the right, second man, half. Pretty look big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. 
Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to let this one go deep. That's caught inside the 20. A big time play there by the Cardinals. 44 yards. Now he's got their only touchdown. This offense struggling. They target him again. Everyone is looking for the hot hand, and sometimes you just don't have it. Maybe it's just lukewarm. But you go to that guy and try and turn it hot. Try and get things going. Find a way to get everything kick-started. As you noted, he has only touchdown, so he's had the most success in the game thus far. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. They don't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now Rosen looking to throw. It's caught. Nelson. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can... And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. David Johnson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals cut into that lead. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. He's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half, but the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game, but a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire it sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going, and you also think at any moment I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know it's not that easy once you get off the gas a little. Yeah, they don't want to see this lead diminish anymore. Gone, 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 gone. Off play action. Griffin. He drops it off for Bernard. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. This quarterback now, 13 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 18 yards on that one, and the Bengals are moving. First down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, 
But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. A handoff to Mixon. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of two. Now third down. So statistically, both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line. But you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Now the Bengals on right, third down. The They've hit two for four six. thus far. Go this go is third and nine. Off the play fake, Griffin, wide open receiver complete, and they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done, and they convert on third with a gain of 22. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Now Joe Mixon, and he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent game, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Final minute now of the third quarter. Gun, gun! Gun, gun! Gun! From the gun, Griffin fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That one good for 12 yards. And it'll be second down. Well, he's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice game, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. Back to throw. Griffin. Green's got it over the middle. And it's a fumble. And this is recovered by the Cardinals. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. And he's going to be taken down here at about the 10. Call it a gain of two as time has run out on this third quarter of play. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Here's Johnson. Up past the 25 to the 26. A gain of five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Now Rosen. Oh, hit 
as he throws there incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. Detroit. 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 And now it's Rosen looking. In the middle of the field, he's got Nelson. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Well, that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Detroit! 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 Now it's Rosen. That's going to be caught by Kirk. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. So here's a big play for the Cardinals as they'll go for two. They'll try and run for it with Johnson. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead a little bit further. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage party, throws. Party. Find the guys that eat pressure and make ah. plays for you and make sure they touch it. They'll begin here with Bernard. this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Nixon. And he'll get three down of the 34-yard line. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Over, 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 over! Ah! And they'll go on the ground. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Looking to throw on second down. Griffin, Green with a catch left side. And now defensively they're going to burn their first time out. Remember they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Detroit! Detroit! Four down, four down. You, you. Ah! 
The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And Green with a catch left side. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Operating from the gun, Griffith. And that is incomplete. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth, unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that D? Yeah, momentum fourth. swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized. You know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you. You know, if people are going to go for it on fourth God, down, God, they God. believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Ah. He'll look to throw. Open man is Kirk complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. They pitch it out to Johnson. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory they got 18 yards out of that one and it gets him a new set of downs some good games going on in the early window this might be the best of the bunch Nelson and they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line and that one results in 35 yards and two big plays one after the other now all of a sudden they're on the march got to feel good about what they've just gotten done and now feel really good about what's in front of them so after the big play look at this all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10 They'll look to throw, and this is caught. Touchdown, and they've taken the lead here in the final minute. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah, what looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken very short. 
Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, Watch having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Right, this quarterback six, now a perfect six. eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Charles, I think back to your earlier statement about the visitors being the underdogs needing to win that turnover battle. And this defense, they forced two turnovers so far, a big reason why they lead this game. Yeah, and I know defenses always talk about getting turnovers in bunches, getting those takeaways. Two's not a bunch, but it's plenty in this game, exactly the formula they need. And I got to tell you, partner, I like it when you think back to something I said that actually comes true. It's actually right. It happens more often than you might think. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Now one more shot at it. Obviously, again, they've got to go for the end zone. Well, we've seen it happen before. How about Aaron Rodgers throughout his career? He seems to pull it off about every right, other now, week. But if I'm the defense, the I'm rushing the quarterback and making him move away from his throwing arm. That makes it a little bit tougher to get it downfield. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely feel like that because when you have a lead in the fourth quarter, all you talk about doing is finishing and closing a game out. But when you flip it over, how about that? Making the comeback and then finishing the game, sealing it on defense, they will feel jubilant in their locker room.